I was young, uh, people would always tell me, oh, you walk nicely. And my head teacher at St. Elizabeth, she used to tell the students, uh, you guys should walk like Lo Rolene and everybody. She used to call me Loreen, so now when I refer to her, <laughs> I refer to myself as Loreen. But she really liked me and she gave me, I think, the push that I needed. So when I went to high school, I actually organized the first ever Miss Lukenya pageant. And uh, this meant a lot to me because as a Form 1, I competed. Uh, funny enough, I always liked speaking in front of people. I've been a student leader all my life in every single school I went to. And I think speaking in front of people just gave me the confidence that I use right now in pageants. And it's a very essential skill to have when you're in pageants. And whenever I felt unworthy or low, I read books, I read podcasts. But I think the defining moment in my life was uh, whenever I was in a robbery with violence at my grandma's house in Kisi. I had gone to visit, you know, it's holidays, Christmas, and uh, people came to ask for money and I was almost raped. I didn't feel free enough to speak about it to my friends or my family. And my mom actually first heard about the experience when I started competing in pageants and speaking about it. But I spoke to my aunt, uh, you know, the Kenyan thing where, it's not like a Kenyan thing, I think it's Africa in general, where it's the woman and how she dresses that affects how people should behave towards her. And that really made me feel a certain way. But this uh, and all other high school experiences, I wasn't performing very well in sciences. Uh, this made me have a lot of anxiety as well as self-doubt. I'm a person who thinks about the future a lot too. And I think that contributed to the anxiety and stress I was having in high school. I wasn't a very happy person. Uh, right now, if you meet me and meet me in high school, you would think it's two different people. Uh, that's how pageants contributed to my life. It's made me happier because competing has made me grow as a woman. It's made me have friends who have uh, direction in life. How I started pageants is my friend, I always really liked reading books not necessarily self-help books or motivational books but just books in general mostly novels and uh, hard nancy drew hardy boys stuff like that but once my friend approached me with this book uh, she, it was written like she owns the place so naturally i wanted to own the place i was in high school i wanted to walk in a room and people look at me and they go wow and so that's i read the book hoping to own the place. But at the end of the book, what I really got was this confidence, this urge to be better. I saw a better future for myself. My teacher in high school, she used to tell me, he actually used to tell me, you know, you can't make it in life, you cannot do it in life. Because I even come from a family of scientists, white collar jobs, uh, teachers, and branching out was a bit different because I used to catwalk in school hallways, school dorms. Uh, Mr. Kivandi used to tell the other students, don't be like Rolin, she's directionless. Uh, you'll not make it life, Rolin, but that book really gave me something to look forward to. And so I started to look for everything in school to get involved in every single activity I could. And we used to have this motivational talks with Achieve Solutions you went and I wanted to be involved. I wanted to be, to ask questions. I think one of the most uh, influential advices to my life was the teacher who said, you don't have to be perfect, but when you chase perfection, you achieve excellence. He wasn't my very favorite teacher, but that thing always stuck with me. And so I started small, little by little. I joined Alan Gray Entrepreneurship Challenge. I've always wanted to have a bright future. I wanted my children to have a future better than I because that's what my mom worked so hard for. And so by joining the Entrepreneurship Challenge, I started thinking outside of the box. I saw a pageant who was called Miss Black America International, Miss Black International Ambassador. 
and I applied for that to go and compete in Australia. I wanted to go out of the country. I didn't tell my mom yet uh, because I had been trying to get a student visa for so long because they don't give it to you. They're not sure if you'll come back. <laughs> but uh, that was my breaking point uh, because I didn't get it. I didn't get the visa to go and compete in Australia. And that's about the time COVID hit and my life was changed because that's when I got my citizenship for America. I moved to America and I never looked back.